around the bend is a small ledge looking out over a large cavern. The cavern is over 150 feet long and 90 feet wide. Wow. Um, it is it is big. There is a desk at one side, and um, the cultist who brought you down here goes to sit back down at it. Um, the cavern beyond is pretty strange looking. Uh, from the roof hang dozens of stalactites, many of the largest of which appear to have been hollowed out. Each one, uh, none of them have doors on them, but each one has like an entryway. And within, uh, you can see several humanoid figures. Ash is trying not to look too freaked out. Am I, um, am I the only one who's spatial dumb? Uh, the, the holes are in stalactites and people are inside them? Yes. Yeah. Like little nests from from the hanging from the, from ceiling. the ceiling. Rocks like conical rocks hanging from okay. the ceiling with little prison cells in carved then? into them. Well, there are ledges around the edge. Um, and uh, can I get perception checks, please? At this point. Yep. That sounds cool. Cash and body senses are going of. crazy. Nineteen, Benick. Nice. Uh, Twenty-one from Eric. And a Kesh with a 16. A <laughs> Kesh is a little panic. Kesh, 16 was the number you needed. You spot a pair more of uh, a pair of more cultists. Both of these are Gallus, so sort of rooster chicken folk. Um, in fact, one is one, and one is a partridge, um, uh, fluttering around the room. All of the people uh, in these cells are humble folk. You can tell that basically the guards can fly and the humble folk can't. Um, and this guy is going, sits down at his desk and gets out a large book um, and uh, flips it open to a new page. The, probably there's about a dozen pages full already. He opens it up and he's like, so who's this then? Well... This is Cash Glitterweave. Oh wow! Okay, cool. Um, the major, yeah, excellent. That's I'm glad, right. I'm glad you guys. The major were able problem to... for you. Yeah, I Sick hope head. not. I really hope not. Like, we don't want you dead. Um, we just don't want you interfering, my dear. Um, look. Um, for serious, where... any. Interfering with what exactly? I'm not going to tell you that. Um... Where are the other guards? How far away are they? Uh, oh, okay. You're not asking him in character. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. So they are one of them. Is, they're actually both about equidistant around the circumference of it. They appear to be moving around. One of them is carrying bowls of gruel out to individual um, places and then fluttering back to grab the next one. He's about 75 feet around the edge to the left. Mm. Um, the other is um, doing something with a weapon rack on about 50 feet away from you on the other side. Okay. Um, I I can tell that Kesh is tense, so I my hand on her shoulder softens a bit and I try to make that a bit reassuring. And I, I reach out to this guard with my other hand um, and say, are you sure you can't tell us? And I cast Charm Person. I love it. Um, okay. Uh, Tony. Tony Karlstrom, would you mind rolling me a 1d20 in chat, please? He says, oh, well, I'm not going to tell you that. And I lean over and say, yes, you are. He goes, well, but you know, right? Yes, but we can tell her. A little bit of torture. She's not going to be able to do anything about it. Huh? Well, all right. Um, <laughs> well, with, with the takeover, of course. Um, we don't want her dead because, you know, she's useful um, and not a bad person. We just don't want her getting in the way of the takeover. Right? And he looks at you like, you know, right? Yes, of course. And, um, you may as well let her know who's leading the takeover. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, so I know who to shank. <laughs> Brendan, make me a persuasion check. Thank you. <laughs> you obviously still have your advantage. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Bad. I think she's. I think that information will torture her enough, knowing that, you know, what she stands for isn't gonna isn't gonna succeed in this. Anyway, we should get her out to the cell. Can I be like, can I be like, it's Larimar, isn't it? Just to see the reaction. He says, "No, well, she's good. Um, <clears throat> probably for the best. We're locking her up then. Okay. So that two-faced birdie bastards. As we drag her away. <laughs> yeah, yeah." Um, He's like, oh, I'll hang on. I'll rip the feathers out one by one. <laughs> hang on. Um, and he takes out a ring um, and oh. he um, puts it on. It's actually, it's a strange ring. It's got two, uh, it, like it goes over two fingers. And uh, he puts it on and then he gestures at Kesh and like puts his hand out. And Kesh, you all of a sudden feel weightless. Ah. He has cast uh. levitate on you. I don't like it. And he says, um, third from the left, I reckon. Um, do you take Kesh out and put her in a prison cell, guys? Uh, I will, I'll put my hand out and I'll say, um, best give us the ring just in case. 